all you deplorable people. <laughs> I swear every time I say that I can't help but the giggles because of where it came from. God bless Trump, man. Anyway, welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob and today we're going to go ahead and start the uh, muffler build. Uh, I've already got the exhaust pipe welded to the flange that goes to the motor so that it comes straight out the side parallel with the engine and the frame and um, I didn't use the street uh, instead I used uh, one of the elbows 90 degrees because then I could weld on this flange around the edge of it and get a good weld so I did it with the stick welder the Harbor Freight stick welder uh, actually it's a stick welder slash TIG welder and I want to get some argon for it and try that thing out. I, I want to learn how to do some TIG welding and I've been watching this old Tony and uh, he's heavy into that TIG welding and I, I need to do some more watching. He's got a new video coming up. Check him out. Uh, the man's pretty good at what he does um, he's uh, kind of funny too but anyway uh, we're gonna go ahead and start back on this muffler build alright guys here's what I've got mocked up now I've got my baffle that will go on the end of this and be welded right close to the end and those will go in here Something like that right there. Of course, it'll be straight when I weld it. All right. So I've got two of those. I got the exhaust pipe, the tailpipe, which it doesn't really matter because they're both going to be identical. You could turn it either way. Uh, I got my end caps, which is made out of the same stuff. Got both of those. And then I drilled holes, a series of holes in the end of this, like that. And that will butt up against this side, which is actually opened all the way up. Rather than uh, me having to try to line all them holes up, I really only need one. I was going to try to do it that way, but me and Crafted was talking about it, and um, he's right. Uh, that was a little more aggravation to try to line them holes up so I just cut it out and then I'll just weld them two together and then my end cap will go on there just like that right there uh, so you'll have a hole on this side on that one and a hole on this side on this one and then I've got my 45 and my tailpipe and then once I've got it all mounted then I can, if I can ever get it screwed in there, uh, then I can just kind of cut my angle however I want to do it. So, now I need to take and just spot weld, you know, about four times around it. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect because, you know, it's just holding it to keep this pipe from moving around inside of it and breaking it loose up here so uh, we'll get welding on these and get them ready to go
Alright, now that we've got all the paint off of it, so that it doesn't burn off, uh, we're going to paint it after we get done welding it. That also gives us a good, good welding surface to weld to. So once we've got it all welded together, then we can take some uh, 1200 degree uh, engine uh, heat paint or uh, the uh, stove black uh, heat paint that you spray on, which I think I do have some. If not, I guess I'm going to have to go get some. And here I'm cleaning my glasses with a dirty shirt. <laughs> Can't see out of them, they're so dusty. So now our next step is to figure out how how we're going to weld this. I think what I'm going to do Let's go ahead and stick these in to where it's at two inches. Stick our first cap on. I just hope this stuff's not going to be too thin because that's a long run right there. And this one's even going to be a longer run. So I'm just going to tack this and then I'm going to tack all the inside here, like I said before. And I'm just going to tack this so just in case I have to move it then uh, I can. So we'll do this and then we'll do the exact same thing with the other one and then we'll just put them back to back and tack them and then finish welding. But let me go get me a clamp. Now we've got that tacked in there in four different places. We've got that tacked around there. Now, when you go to weld this, I've got it set perfect just about for this thin metal. So, this piece is a little thicker. So you want to concentrate your heat more on the heavier than the lighter because if you concentrate on both of them, it evenly you're going to burn a hole in this and then you're going to have to start filling in holes which i'm probably going to do eventually so now we've got this piece ready now we need to make the other piece to go on and then we will go ahead and put this where it's supposed to go just like that
Now that's a good example of what I was talking about. I burned a hole in it because I went off. I missed my, I got off the line. So it's kind of hard to see. Plus this thing here needs to be cleaned or something. My wire is getting too tight. So let me clean my tip or get a new one. I don't think I have a new one, but I do have a clean one. And uh, we'll try it again. But when I w went and did a hole in it, you just kind of wait until the glow starts to go away, and then you hit it, just tap it. Wait till the glow goes away, then tap it. Just uh, You just have to figure out your, your, your method to doing that. I've filled so many holes, I'm pretty good at filling holes. I'm just bad at welding. Alright guys, I've got it welded up, cleaned up, got your inlet or outlet, whichever one you desire. Now the welds are not all that great a shape, but you know, I'm not w looking for perfection. I'm looking for it to work. I don't care what it looks like as long as it, well I mean I do care, but um, I don't, it, if it looks this good, I'm good with it. So I've got all of it welded up and once I started getting a routine and figuring out how I wanted to go about it, you know, I got a few more places. I got a wire wheel right here. I got to clean up. As you can see, you know, the weld wasn't all that great, but it wasn't all that bad either. So, uh, but there's the muffler for the uh, Craftsman tractor. Uh, I'll clean all this up and repaint it and we'll be back when we're ready to put it up on the tractor. Alright guys, we've got her all painted up. I need to get a little more paint because I ran out. I need to get a little spot right there that I missed. And um, we got it all hooked up. Everything is tight. As you can see. And the mufflers underneath there. And it fits right nice and snug underneath here. It's not hitting nothing. I can still get to the bolt to get to take this off when I want to go paint this. Uh, this is just on temporary just to get this muffler where it's supposed to be. And let's uh, see if we can get rid of some of this light, sunlight. And there it is. And we got our mounting bracket right here, and it's welded here, here, and on the top, and on the side here. And it's a low profile, and I think it looks pretty good. And no one would ever see that that muffler was there, standing here. You'd never see it. So, I think it worked pretty good. So now all I gotta do is put my tailpipe on it. Right there. And she's done. It's getting ready to pour the rain down on us again. Like always around here. It's all it ever does is rain around here. No wonder people stay depressed here. But uh that will complete the muffler build for the uh, Craftsman 917 27 
10, 14, I believe, uh, tractor. And uh, I guess the next thing is to go ahead and start running the wiring. Now that I'm not going to do. Um, I'm not going to do that on video. I'm just going to go ahead and wire it because I need to concentrate on that wire and get it where I want it and how I want it. And uh, then uh, the next thing I guess would be video would be me trying to see if I can make something to go over the tank to make it look a little better like a tread aluminum or something like that. Um, so make sure I'm recording. I believe I am. Oh, okay, so when the yellow light on the front is flashing, that means I'm recording. I didn't know that. I just now realized that. Anyway, uh, we're getting there. So, tell me what you think of that muffler. I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, I like it, and I can't wait to hear what it's going to sound like. I hope it's really quiet. And that's a Kohler motor, and them, them Kohler motors run pretty quiet, from what I understand, with the right muffler. So, uh, also I wanted to show you before, I haven't showed you guys this yet, the, um, we already seen the shifter knob, and we already seen this knob, but I also made one matching for my lighter. And check it out. It even has the uh, I got to take and do some black on it and then sand it or whatever so that all the black will stay in the smoke I got a cigarette kind of tried to do it with a um, die grinder and it's not the best looking thing in the world but um, anyway it looks like it's got smoke coming up from it so I made that a matching piece for the uh, to match these so there you have it don't forget to like subscribe share comment and help your channel out again if you want to help the channel out the bison workshop just go to bison workshop at gmail.com to PayPal any donations to the shop now, while I'm on that subject, I wanted to uh, give a big shout out to the one person who always helps the, the shop out. Um, he just helped me out again today. Uh, so far, he's the only one that's uh, helped out the channel. And I, I say, God bless you, man. Uh, you've been an angel to the shop, and I thank you so much for it. Uh, that's going to go a long way to helping me show my son a good time this weekend or the next two weeks when he comes. He's coming on the 7th and uh, I'm hoping to do some videoing with him. Look, like I said, it's been four years since I've seen him and uh, the, uh, the money that you donated, you know who you are. Uh, thank you very much. And I'm sure my son will thank you too. So, you guys have a good one. Later.